So you've made up your mind, you want to start a poultry farm, but you're not certain which one to go with. Layers or broilers? Which one is more profitable? Which one will give you more money? Which one is easier to handle? Which one will suit you? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about. So please stick around and then I'm going to tell you why I chose layers, why I went layers are not broilers. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel. I'm very passionate about poultry farming. If you're new to the channel, I talk about poultry farming in all the different ways so that I get to teach you and help you make money from poultry farming. And then if you've come back and you're already a subscriber, welcome back. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss anything. Hit that notification bell because what's the purpose of subscribing? if you're going to miss everything. So hit that notification bell and don't forget to like this video and comment. So if you are to start a poultry farm, it can get quite tricky. You're quite certain that you want to go the poultry direction, but then you don't know whether you should do broilers or you should do layers. And then there are the other things, the local chickens and you know, the mixed breeds, the, Kenye, the improved Kenyages, the Corillas, the Noilas, depending on which country you're in. It can get quite complex. In this video in particular, I'm going to talk about the layers and the broilers because we all know there is not a lot of information out there. So I'm here to help you decide choose which one should you go with so there are a number of factors involved and this includes things like how much time do you have how much money do you have are you good at risk taking if you wear all these things they will determine which one are you more likely to go with first things first what are broilers and what are layers we shall start with broilers well broilers are birds or chickens that are bred for meat production these things have extraordinary genes in six weeks you had me right six weeks one two three four five six you will be able to sell the chick in six weeks the thing will get more than two kilograms you know 2.5 kilograms or even more than that in just six weeks if you feed them well so they have extraordinary genes they have special feeds that ensure that in such a short time they will be ready for the market so when you bring the birds in just six weeks you'll be selling them off broilers gain weight so quickly in that in just over six weeks they will have a problem walking you know their weight will be too much for their bones and supporting themselves is quite hard so in six weeks seven weeks eight weeks they are too heavy and they are made in such a way that in around eight weeks they should be sold off they should be killed so if you keep them for 10 weeks over 10 weeks they're going to start developing problems you know health problems because they can't handle their own weight then what are layers well layers are the birds that i have right over here they are picking on my legs so i have very many around me so as you can see them they are very small birds yeah they are light but they have extraordinary genes for laying these things will lay an egg almost every 26 hours you can imagine an egg is formed inside them every 26 hours so they have extraordinary genes for laying eggs they are small so they they won't grow very big you know they're around 1.5 kilograms 1.8 very few of them will reach two kilograms but then the food they take in is very special in that it helps them to lay eggs so in a very short time they will be laying eggs just 26 hours they will be laying eggs and they can lay eggs for a very long time you know over one year imagine laying an egg almost every day almost every day i said almost every day not every day well every 26 hours every 28 hours for over a year that's superb genes so now that we know what layers are and what broilers are which ones should you keep? Well, there are a few factors to consider. And we're going to start with the marketing. Let's start with the broilers. What you need to know with broilers is that in six weeks, they will be ready for selling. And you must have market by six weeks time. If you don't have the market in six weeks time, you're going to suffer losses. Because after six weeks, they're going to keep eating. They're going to demand food. You'll have to keep giving them feeds. But the person who is going to come and buy them is not going to give you extra amount of money for the extra days that you're feeding them. So you have to be certain that usually by the time you bring them in on the very first day, you kind of have your market sorted. You already have people willing to take them up because, well, it takes just six weeks for them to grow to maturity. So you must have your market ready by the time you bring in the birds. After six weeks, if you still have them on your farm and you're still feeding them, count that as losses. 
But then there is an option. If you're going to go broilers, then the option is to have a refrigerator. Not everyone, of course, can handle that. But that's a very good option. If you can buy a refrigerator, that way when they reach six weeks, you can slaughter them, then refrigerate them and keep them. So that when people come after the six weeks, you can still sell them off. So that's the easiest way and the safest way to have and handle broilers. And then the other thing that you should consider is, even if you already have your market, you should have an option B. Just in case the people who promise to take the birds off don't come to take the birds off. You should have a second option because you don't want, you know, to get someone bailing you out. For example, during the previous lockdown, people had market already set in and then the crisis came and then people couldn't sell off their birds. So it got harder for them to sell off the birds. So do you have an option B just in case people decide that they're not going to take off the birds? Then if we go to layers, layers are a bit easier to market. Why? Because they lay eggs and these eggs can be preserved even, you know, just at room temperature for almost a whole month, yeah? So you can keep the eggs while you're looking for your price, for the price that you need. So you don't need to sell to someone because they are, you know, giving you very little money because you have to be forced to sell them off because you think they're going to get spoiled or you're going to incur losses. No, you can keep the eggs on your farm. Then when you get the correct market, the people who are willing to give you the right amount of money, then you will be able to sell them off. However, layers also have a downside when it comes to marketing. Usually the price for the eggs is set depending on the area where you are. For example, where I am, um, there's a certain almost constant price for the eggs and I won't sell my eggs at another price probably because they are bigger, no. Whether they are bigger or they are smaller, you're going to be selling them at a certain price. So they are dependent on where your farm is or where you're located. Number two, the startup cost. The startup cost is way cheaper for broilers. So when you're going to start a broiler farm, you're going to need things like water, feeds, the structure where they're going to be staying, then a few vaccines, then a few hardware, you know, things like the feeders, I have a feeder right here, you guys can see it. So, things like the feeders, things like the drinkers, and then the light and the heating. Those are, that's really what you're going to need for the broilers. But then for the layers, you're going to need everything that the broilers need, but in greater amount. Remember that, for example, it, for broilers, by six weeks, you're going to be selling them off. So you don't need as much feeds as for layers. But for layers, you're going to have to keep these birds for 18 to 21 weeks before they start giving you money before they start laying so you're going to need way more money then because you're going to keep the birds for a very long time you're going to uh, again spend more money on things like vaccines and drugs so that's more money then you're going to spend money on things like patches what are patches patches are these things why you see the birds resting right now those are patches so you're going to spend things money on patches which you're not going to spend on in layers then things like debicking the birds all that is money spent so the startup capital is way higher for layers compared for compared to broilers so if you have way more money it's easier to do layers if you have you know a very tight budget broilers are an option for you a better option for you the other thing that you need to know is that you need larger numbers of birds in order to get profit in layers because the startup capital is higher yeah so with layer with broilers you can start with you know 20 50 birds and you'll make your money back in a short time for layers you're going to need at least you know 200 500 birds for you to make what we would call you know sensible money when the money starts coming back the number three dealing with treatment and diseases you know occurrences of possible diseases now this is very important what you need to understand is that broilers are kept for a way shorter time compared to layers you're going to keep them for six weeks in those six weeks it means that the chances of your birds getting sick are way lower and then you're going to immunize them less times you know you're going to spend very little money on the immunization so you're going to immunize them less times and then the chances of them getting sick is lower while for layers you're going to keep the birds you know for one year or over one year almost two years so the chances of the birds getting sicker are way higher so you, you have a higher risk of the birds getting sick and then this is why this all comes into play in terms of broilers if the birds get sick let's say at two or three weeks and you know you're going to suffer a loss but then in in six weeks you'll be selling them off and then probably after two months you're going to be bringing in 
a new set of bands. So in a very short time, you know, six weeks, eight weeks, you can recover from a loss. While for layers, my buds, for example, if all my buds died, let's give take an example of like Newcastle disease. Newcastle is a very horrible disease. It's a viral disease with no cure and it can claim to up to 100% mortality, you know, 99% mortality, 95% mortality. That's very horrible. So imagine I got Newcastle disease on the farm and let's say 70% of my birds died. That would be horrible because I still have 30% of my birds present and I need to keep them. But then I can't recover from that loss for almost two whole years. So you notice that the risk is the risk of loss is way higher in layers compared to broilers. So if you're not a risk taker and you know you're not willing to risk everything that you have, then broilers are a safer option for you. Then we shall also talk about the skill or expertise needed. Now broilers need way less skill stroke expertise if you're starting, especially if you're naive, you know. If you're naive with broilers, you'll start off and in six weeks you've sold them, then you have another lot. So you go on getting experience in you know a measurable way you get experience slowly by slowly you're going to have to vaccinate the birds less times you have less things to deal with you have more time to deal to, to understand how to play around with your market but for layers you need way more skill you know you're going to vaccinate the birds very many times you're going to have to deal with like i said potential diseases so for layers you're going to have to get people who are more skillful than you you know the, the the risks are higher so it's better to get someone who is more skillful or subscribe to my channel that way you get all the information so you get less chances of suffering a loss so while keeping layers the mistakes that you make will be punished very heavily very heavy punishment so that's why the skill level required is high but for broilers, you know, the mistakes are forgiving, you know, the errors, you'll make an error here and there, and then you have the time to recover, and then another time to recover. So the risk is lower in broilers. Then let's talk about the long-term revenue that you will be getting back from the whole business. Let's say at the end of, let's say, uh, one year or two years, you're closing off the business, which one will give you more money? Now, layers are way more profitable compared to broilers over the long time, yeah? Because you're going to be selling your eggs and eggs are a bit more expensive Well, they fetch higher profit compared to the meat. And then number two, at the end of the project, you're going to sell off all these birds, you know? I will sell off this chicken and people will be eating it as meat, yeah? You understand? So at the end of the two years, you'll be selling off the birds. So you have more profit from the layers while for broilers for you to have very good profit you must keep large numbers of birds and you must have a constant demand yeah constant demand for the birds it should be demand which you ideally can't supply that's when you would say you know you're having abnormal profits for broilers but then don't forget that for broilers just in case you decide to go in with the very large numbers remember that you have to have a refrigerator and then also handle the possibility of someone bailing out on you and then in one day you're already making losses the other thing that you need to know is that broilers return profits in a very short time yeah in six weeks you've already got back all the money and profit that you invested for layers you're going to take months and months and probably a year or more for you to get back the money that you invested so if you want to start and you know you need quick profit broilers are the way to go if you're more willing to you know persist and get probably more money over a long time then layers are a better option for you then we shall also talk about the availability now broilers because they take a shorter time just six weeks they don't need you to be very available you know you have a very short time where you're available probably you have leave from work let's say you've been given a month of leave you can be around four weeks do everything and then for the remaining two weeks they'll be at you know grown up then you can get someone to just help you supervise and everything while for layers you will need to be available you'll need to be on the farm as often as possible because the risks are higher the intricacies involved are more so you need to be more available and then remember it takes a longer time so if you're less likely to be available then broilers are a better option for you if you know that you can be available and handle everything then go layers so then finally, why did I choose layers? Well, if you've been listening to all 
the balances I've given you, you will understand that layers have more money. Okay? So I, I really need to make money. I want to make money. And because of that, I'm a risk taker. Yeah? I'm a very big risk taker. I was willing to put all my money into the layers and, well, it has paid for me. Yeah? They have grown. It's been over a year. And I'm getting money from these birds. So I'm a risk taker. And I want big money. So that's why I choose... Oh, that's why I chose the layers. So layers are a better option for me because I can get more money. And then I told you guys I'm going to bring more birds that I'm going to put up here so that I get again more money. But then you don't need to all be like me, yeah? Broilers could be more profitable for you. They could be what you can handle. So if you've been listening and you've understood everything I've said, then you can weigh, weigh the two sides, yeah? Layers, broilers. Which one do you think will work for you? Which one can you handle, yeah? That way you'll succeed. So think critically, sit down, weigh all these options, and then I hope that you'll be able to decide which one suits you and which one you think will make you more money. Don't forget to watch all my other videos coming up right now in the links so that you get all the information you need about poultry farming. That way you don't make losses, you know, you're getting more money and more money and more money. And we get richer, you know, we grow together. And please, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.